there was a moment there where Thomas Mulcair was in the lead. And I saw your signs all around here. A guy's got a dream. I mean, even if a guy starts up saying, I know that the NDP haven't won here before, and I know we're the underdog. A guy, if, even if he would never admit it publicly, he's got a dream about what it would be to win. Absolutely. And, even have a and that, that's, that's the point of a lot of those satirical bits. You know, having it, it's a bit of mischief, a bit of fun for me, and a few chapters start with me imagining. And what happens is I'm imagining myself in positions of less and less power. So at the beginning, <laughs> I'm a, a cocksure guy on the floor of the House of Commons. Then I'm in a minority government having to deal with Gerald Butts in the back room and my own you know, guy in, the, uh, in Mulcair's PMO shafting me. And then suddenly it ends with the real situation of 10 very forlorn GTA NDP MPs gathered around the table sulking, basically. I mean, it felt like the whole of Canada had rejected us. But you're right. I mean, you know, I knew in the beginning that I was there. I hoped to elevate the argument. We both believe in argument. We both believe in debate. Um, and... Uh, then I discovered that what happens to you very quickly is you have to believe you can win. I mean, you've got all these people coming out to work for you. You couldn't do this job if you didn't believe what you were doing. And it's the same way on a campaign. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.